Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, some pretty impressive rain totals over the past couple of days. Fort Payne over two inches of rainfall uh, since yesterday morning. Scottsboro and Coleman over an inch of rain and just shy of an inch in Huntsville over the past couple of days as well. Most of that has fallen during the morning hours, both yesterday morning and this morning. So when we have seen this evening, not much rain developing, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Our ground is already pretty soaked, so we could definitely use a break from the rainfall. So bottom line is we have not seen any storms really materialize in North Alabama just yet. I'm not completely ruling it out later on tonight, but it's definitely been quieter than expected so far this evening. The way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network showing ground clutter across most of the area. We are beginning to see a thunderstorm finally move into Marion County this evening. It is not severe. It's likely not going to become severe but there is heavy down. There are uh, heavy downpours associated with this possibility of developing some small hail and it is moving northeast. So eventually Franklin and Lawrence County, you may be looking at some of that activity heading your way pretty soon. We also have a cluster of thunderstorms that began in Arkansas and is currently moving through northern Mississippi that is producing more heavy downpours, lightning, small hail, gusty winds associated with these. Those are moving almost directly east. So there is a decent chance this will move toward the shoals once we get close to about 1 to 2 a.m. It's only moving east at about 40 miles per hour or so, so it's going to take a couple more hours. But again, rough timeline would be around 1 to 2 o'clock in the morning uh, for arrival of some of those downpours and maybe some loud rumbles of thunder around the shoals later on tonight. As I mentioned earlier, severe weather in general looks very unlikely for North Alabama for the rest of the night tonight. Hail up to penny size, gusty winds up to 45 miles per hour, and those heavy downpours are mainly what we're looking at with any of the storms that do happen to roll through North Alabama through the night tonight. Now, our future radar model has not done a great job with this system today, so uh, what I'm going to show you here is it's pointing to the storms pushing north into Tennessee. I still think there's a chance it moves across the Tennessee Valley overnight tonight, so these are probably a little bit too far north here. A chance at storms through the overnight hours likely clears out late tonight. So for your morning travels tomorrow, you can expect possibility of some more wet roads, likely still cloudy and probably foggy in the higher elevations. But as far as actual rainfall is concerned, that's probably going to be wrapped up during the peak morning drive time tomorrow. Here's a timeline for the hour by hour forecast for your Friday. We're going to start off in the 60s. We will see gradually clearing skies after a few cloudy days. Sunshine is back in the forecast by tomorrow afternoon, and that should help us get back to the 70s for the first time in a few days. Here's what Friday looks like on future radar. There could still be lingering, very isolated showers for the first half of the day tomorrow, but I do anticipate that will clear out along with the clouds late in the day. Again, if you're heading to Panoply tomorrow evening, it's going to be great weather for that opening night of the festival weekend. A little fog possible Saturday morning, otherwise a partly cloudy sky as we kick off the weekend. We will see an increase in the clouds late in the day, but likely stay dry during the daylight hours. Our best chance of rain this weekend is going to be Saturday night and early Sunday morning. That is going to favor kind of the southeast half of our viewing area, so less likely in the shoals, maybe more likely around Sand Mountain, and we could see some rain clip Huntsville during that time. That's going to quickly clear out Sunday morning, giving way to another round of sunshine coming our way by Sunday afternoon. Sunday is going to be a breezy day and a little bit cooler as well. Saturday looks nice. High temperatures expected to be in the mid to upper 70s, 76 in Huntsville and 78 in Decatur. We'll knock those highs down close to 70 by the time we get to Sunday. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, the month of May begins on Monday and it is going to be a quiet and sunny start to the month of May. Upper 60s to low 70s expected for the first half of next week.